I've always been a firm believer that design is not there just to be pretty. It's there to actually add something of value to the product so that people fall in love with the product. Again, I don't think of life in a box as a product. I don't think of it as a mini fridge. I think of it as a tool for the heart. Because if you can touch the hearts of people, the possibilities are just about infinite because people buy the product because they want to buy it and they fall in love. And if you fall in love with something, you're going to use it more and more. So we've contacted doctors, patients, users. We've asked them their opinions. How does it look? We are now in the, I think, seventh or eighth generation of working prototypes that we hold in our hand and we go back to the drawing board because we find, oh, that's just not exactly how I want it. Designing it on the screen is one thing, but holding it in your hand is another. And so it behooves us today to make products that are absolutely perfect in every way, not just in way of the look, but in usage, so that it actually just feels like a wonder when you open the box. I always hope, I wish, that no one would ever have to buy my product. That would be the ideal thing. But unfortunately, 3.5% of the worldwide population is suffering from some sort of a disease that requires medication that has to be kept cool. We're talking about growth hormones, we're talking about anti-TNF, we're talking about diabetes, polyarthritis, different, multiple sclerosis, for example. And these people are de facto prisoners of their medication. And with Life in a Box, we don't just offer them a little mini fridge. We offer them freedom, the freedom to travel, to live their life, to go to work, play, and to really be alive.